coming up on the show. Oh, yeah, they're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. Hey, it's getting close to trick-or-treat time. And this expert right here is going to tell us how Halloween costumes have scared the world into spending billions of dollars. See, after the break. Here's a scary thought. America's National Retail Federation is expecting a record-breaking $9.1 billion to be spent on Halloween this year. It's the busiest time of the year for the fancy dress industry, which will get the biggest share of that deal. But is it all just a trick? <laughs> See what we did there. Uh, Ruby's is one of the world's biggest fancy dress companies, and we have Tracy Dine. D Divine, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, how are you? Great to come in. Uh, have you here? Um, Let's talk about, you've been in it for a while, how, how has the, the fancy dress business changed over the years? Well, it's certainly, as you said, a huge number and it is growing year on year in the UK. We are certainly following the US trend. Yeah, because uh, I just know when we do the numbers here, just in the UK alone, of the spend, it started off small, but people, yeah, people, and it's not only kids, right? No, oh, up. absolutely. Why should they have all the fun? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but we're seriously, we're seeing more and more adults, an increase in adults, Absolutely. Well, I think it's a family occasion. It's a family mm. occasion. I think that's what we're embracing. You know, mum, dad, kids, friends, family can all go out and enjoy, have the party. And I was, I was reading here, and I've got, so, I've got a list here, and, and you'll know it very well, but um, the themes change every year, right, Lizzie, in what people want to, want to wear. So what's the, what's the hot theme? Well, of course, the premise is about fr being frightened, mm -hmm. being scared or scaring. But we are very driven um, by blockbusters and the, the latest movie. So it's off movies? Massively driven by movies. So we're talking about the, the Marvel, the DC, the, the comic book ones? Absolutely. Uh, so, what, um, so we've got like the top list here. Is it, what, Sup uh, Superman, Wonder Woman, Spider-Man, Wolverine? Yes, yeah, so, so Warner Brothers have commissioned a, a, a survey and mm. what came back is that we all want to dress as a superhero and Batman is the top of that list. And to get a costume, do you have to, uh, you have to license it through? Do you have to get the... I, we do as a company, yes. We have to, we negotiate with Warner to get the Batman license and on a, a, a contract basis. So every time somebody's wearing a Batman, for example, Warner Brothers is getting a little cha-ching. Uh, they're no fools, are they? Absolutely they're no fools. <laughs> uh, treat, look, great to have short and sweet, but great to have you. Good luck with the, uh, when is it, Tuesday? No, it is, yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay, I'm sure you're busy. We're going to take a look at Wall Street because it's uh, uh, in action as we speak, reacting to those uh, numbers. But what I want to show is the IBEX. Take a look. That's in Spain, Madrid, down. Of course, the breaking news that the Catalan Regional Parliament has voted to declare independence from Spain, and that has hit the market. Whoa, that's it. Hey, everybody, have a great weekend. I'm back on Monday, same time, same place. You can follow me on Twitter at BBC Aaron. And Gita's back at the top of the hour with impact and, of course, more of that breaking news about Catalonia declaring independence from Spain. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.